Good night, everybody. Um, well, I don't see anybody yet, so, but, um, good night, good night, good night. Good night, good night. See anybody around? Good night, good night. Um, all right. Since, um, I'm not versed on these things, I'm just going to sit here and pretend that I know what I'm going to, that I know what I'm doing. <laughs> Anybody on as yet? Um, please come on and share. Um, I don't know what is going to happen because I'm not, you know, a pro at this. Uh, I don't know. I'm just waiting to see if I see anybody. <laughs> uh, So, I don't know if anybody even watching this. But, I'm taking a chance here. Will you share the live, please? Share to some PMP delegates, you know, because I them not want to talk to. If you know any PMP delegate at all, I have them phone number, share this to them. Share to them page. Just share it. Keep sharing it until um, them get it. Um, so I'm just going to wait a bit and see what happens. I don't know what I'm doing, so we'll have a see with me. Because I don't have a clue what I'm doing. All right. Good night, Sophie Harrison. How are you? Thank you for joining this. I will be with you in a, in a bit. Just waiting for them. Go and share it. If you know any PMP delegates, please share the live with them. Because it's really never what I talk to tonight. And um, whether them come on or not, we're going to be... um. Sharing it with them. All righty there. Eh? Well, things improving. Four people on. Woo! So we waited to see if we can get some more uh, people on before we get the ball rolling. You will see with me and bear with me because I am not um, a live um, connoisseur, so to speak. But um, I hope you'll join me and um, hear what we have to say tonight. So if there's even 10 people on, we're going to talk. No matter what, we're going to talk tonight. All right? So... I want to talk about the People's National Party and we want to talk about how delegates elect a leader. I want to break it down in four parts. Part number one, we're going to talk about Norman Manley. Very short. What he meant. What was his intent when he set up the People's National Party and the system by which one should join. So we're going to talk about that first. Then we're going to talk about what you, the delegates, did and what you understand from what Norman did um, in terms of how he set up his party. So we're going to talk to you next. Then we're going to talk about, because it's a natural progression, what the other guys that Uno vote for, Uno the delegates, what they did. And um, then we're going to move and talk about the final part. So... Let's get into it then. When Norman Manley started the People's National Party, and yes, it was Norman Manley who formed the People's National Party. And when Norman Manley formed the People's National Party, 
he had a clear intent about what kind of party he wanted to exist. He had a clear intent as to how that party should operate. He also had a clear intent as to how membership should be garnered for the People's National Party. So Norman set out and he made it very clear. He said that this is how we're going to do it. We're going to set up a system of groups, a system where people from their various locales, teachers in the classroom, farmers in the field, nurses, civil servants, shopkeepers, bar owners, those kind of people can sit in their own local and they can decide that they want to join the People's National Party. And so they come together as a group and they form a group and they become members of the People's National Party. That was Norman's intent. Later on down the years, it became something different. You know, not, not so much a party where people can join and everybody can join. Because that was Norman Manley's intent. That everybody can join the People's National Party. He spoke about farmers. He spoke about um, people who work in domesticated um, situations. Norman Manley spoke about civil servants. He spoke about shopkeepers. He spoke about whalers. Matt Norman spoke about everything regarding the people joining the People's National Party. So then, how did we get here? We are now, there is a group situation where people decide who does what and who become delegates and all of that. Now today we're going to talk about it and some people are going to be vexed. And believe you me, it is not my intention to, to disrespect anyone. But in order to cut through it, we have to talk some truths. And if we're not going to talk some truths, then maybe you shouldn't be here. Because when talk some truths, and I want you to share the live, if you know a PMP delegate, share the live with them. Because it's them we're talking to. Suddenly the groups, um, the group, the group thing that Norman set up, that was meant for something else. Cut out of my, cut out of my room. I lock my door. Don't come back in here. Oh. Out! And... <laughs> Sorry, that <laughs> when Norman set up this group situation for the People's National Party, for people to join the groups, and for people to... Norman Manley meant it to be a free situation where anyone across from Jamaica can join the People's National Party. It was, it was meant to be a privilege. It was meant to be something that you earn. It was meant to be that the group become a, a, kind of a, a kind of a vanguard in the communities that will propel the People's National Party to po political power. It was meant to be where it's not just a political group where you're the chairman and you're the secretary and you wait until there's an internal election. Then you go vote and get a money from somebody and go back home. Nobody knows you get a money. Nobody knows where you vote for. They never ask somebody who they want you to vote for. But you just go on and do it. It was not meant that way. It was meant for you to have your group. For you to elect officers for your group. For those officers to meet and decide if they want to elect when there's an election, who they want to support, who they want you, the delegate, to vote for. It was meant that way so that you can meet with your people and you decide who you're voting for and you vote for that. But no, I'm going to take it over. I'm going to take it over like an own personal thing and treat it like it's a personal domain. Only can do as I please with it. Me are the chairman, so me become the trip the second day, the, the delegate. Me are the chairman, so me are gonna support John because John gonna give me twenty thousand dollars. Nobody else knows nothing about the twenty thousand dollars. Nobody else in the group knows about the twenty thousand dollars. Then the group, as Norman Manley meant it to be, should also be a vehicle to propel us to political power. By that I mean that the group should be the, the, the vehicle in the community that get people to register to vote and get them to the poll on election day for the People's National Party. What has it become? It has become a vehicle for personal development. It has become a vehicle to, it has become a dishonest vehicle for everybody's personal agenda. 
So you're the chairman. And you decided you're supporting Tom. And the rest of the people there in the group don't know that you decide that you're supporting Tom. And you don't consider it as the chairman of the group who lives in PD 66 with 310 voters. You don't consider that if I am, when I'm going to go choose a leader for the People's National Party, I must now consider the 310 votes that I have in this PD for the People's National Party. I must consider that my decision that I will make to elect a leader is going to impact the 310 people in PD 66. When election day come or when the election is announced, will, will I, the chairman of that group, who go select and elect that leader, be able to say to the 310 people in PD 66, yes, we elected this man. Uno must come out, come vote. Uno come out, come vote, no man. You see it many a times. Uno, you know, you know, vote. You know, come out, come vote. Me not vote, me not vote. Why you not come out, come vote? Me not vote for him. She not vote for him. And you go elect him and you can't get her to go vote for him. Because you never ask her what you think about the leadership race. You have 310 voters. In PD 66, you go elect a leader that you never discuss with the 310 voters. You don't have a clue what they feel about it. Not a clue. You just want to call it the 10,000 when they pay you. And that's what you did. And Norman Manley never meant it to be that way. At all. So yes, you PMP delegates, Uno matter, Uno will sell out the PMP. Uno will sell out on the four parents' um, legacy. Uno will sell out Norman Manley party. Sell out Norman Manley legacy. Uno may attack. Uno will get up on the eye horse and big up on the chest. Yeah, we in charge of this and we in charge of that. I am the group chairman and I am the, I am the delegate. So talk to me. Oh, me have 16 delegates. And my delegates are going to do what me tell them for do. So to talk to me and you call it the people them 20,000. You sell the people them vote. The people them vote, you know. It's not just the, the group vote you sell, you know. You sell the PD vote because that PD, PD 66 with 310 votes is what you are responsible for to bring out for the People's National Party come election day. But you can't bring that out because you sell the vote to a man who cannot inspire them to come out. So we're talking about that first. That's the first thing we're talking about tonight. On the sell out, on the pick them legacy. What do you do? You went and elect a leader for the People's National Party. On the colic him five thousand, I'm ten thousand, I'm fifteen thousand, twenty thousand. So I'm on the colic the night before, come come vote and call it the next day. And I'm still reeling from the thought that how could you possibly believe that you are doing the right thing by electing Mark Golden to be leader of the PMP? How did you arrive at that conclusion? How? I tell you how. You didn't. You didn't even think about it. Some people come to you and they offer you some money and you jump on a bandwagon and put on one shirt about you going with Golden. Off the cliff you were going with Golden. Down, down um, Lime Tree Lane, you were going with Golden. Down the street that has no end, you were going with Golden. You were going on that train that has absolutely no gas in it with Golden. You were riding that bus that, I, that Angela Brownberg said. Pop down. Going with Golden. So you're doing all of that. You're going with Golden. Without thinking what impact electing this person is going to have on my chances as a cluster leader. As a PD captain. As an indoor agent who's supposed to deliver 310 votes from PD 66. For the People's National Party. You never thought of that. The only thing on your mind. Is the people their money with them promise you. I have spoken to quite a few of you. Who voted for Mark Golden. Quite a few of you. I sought you out. Someone even eyed me out. Eventually I catch up with you. 
And I spoke to quite a few of you. And many of you, a majority of the voters that voted, delegates that voted for Mark Golden, many of you are now, you are having buyer's remorse. You have had that buyer's remorse within two or three months of his presidency. You regret it. You're sorry. You never knew. That's one of the most famous phrases. Why, I tell you, come across, we never knew. And we don't know when we said to you, someone will watch. We said to you, oh, on God's green earth, you can say to me that you never knew. When we tell you, we tell you, we were on social media night after night, day after day, telling you, one, we tell you this man has never led anything in his entire life. How you going to give the People's National Party to him for lead? He has never led anything. He has never led a Cub Scout troop. The man has never led a dozen ants to a sugar hill. We tell you, two, we tell you that him can't unite the People's National Party. He is a divider, not a uniter. Three, we tell you that him have no track record of work and commitment and sacrifice to the People's National Party and to the people of Jamaica. I want to shouldn't elect him. We told you so. And every time you tell me that you never know, I throw that right back at you. Because you knew. We told you. But you went ahead. You take the people their money. And you go vote for Mark Golden. Do you know how stupid Uno look? Seriously. Uno had two choices. There was Lisa Hanna. And there was Mark Golden. Look at Uno now. The song, <laughs> look at me now. <laughs> look at Uno now. Uno had Lisa Hanna. Mm. I don't get it. Mm. I don't get it. Mm. Mm. Uno had Lisa Hanna. Uno had Mark mm. Golden. Uno choose Lisa. Mm. Uno choose Mark Golden over Lisa Hanna. Mm. I want you to explain to me mm. how that works. Mm. How do you do that? Mm. How you came to that conclusion? Because of all of you that I've spoken to, mm. that tell me you never know, and all that will for me never know a thing. Uno still don't explain to me how you came to that conclusion. Someone who was there, um, one cupboard, the pan. Why? You know, people are telling with this and people tell with that. Nobody telling no anything on this damn line. Nobody telling what they're telling no anything good about Mark Golden. Nobody, because there's no track record. There's no record of Mark Golden in terms of what he could do and if he could lead the People's National Party. Come on. We're not delegate for Norman Manly Party. I want to do it no. Uno don't know, Uno don't know anything. Because Uno don't want to know. Uno don't want to know because Uno want to collect the people, them 5,000 and 10,000 and 15,000. I would have all kind of reasons as to why Uno do it. Some people from my very constituency, buck up a couple of them down in the mall, a couple of weeks after the whole thing. And one who is in a leadership position. Stood up in the people there mall and telling me that she couldn't vote for Lisa Anna. She couldn't vote for Lisa Anna because when Lisa Anna ran for vice president and Lisa Anna saw that she wasn't going to win, Lisa Anna locked down the burger truck and locked up everything and 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 get in the burger. I mean look at her and say, but he's a real piece of crap. You expect that after the woman, on a promised woman, vote a woman, they are going to burger and they will not vote for her. And she must left the truck open for them after the burger. After they not vote for her. And that is your reason? That is your reason for not voting for Lisa Anna. Because she locked out the burger truck when she run for vice president. Because they not vote for her after the promise. And the woman do not a burger. And they will not don't vote for her. And they don't want her to lock down the truck. Who's that talking? But listen to me. On a known mistake. On a know what you did. Even those of you on social media trying to put up a brave face. Those of you who I call, who have spoken to many times, who are seeing the road, who are seeing the communities, who are putting on a brave face. Ah, make, make, 
Make we work with him now. We soon get to that work with him part. I promise you, we're going to get to that work with him pass. We're going to get to that part. So I went out on the vote for this man over Lisa Anna. We don't know how ridiculous that. Look how joke, what a joke that is. I don't like see children cost their mother. It's not a good thing. Not a good thing for kids to cost their mother. Probably uh, more so boys. Cussing their mother. Cussing their mother. On the day of the election, down by Michael, my Venetia and a crew of people from Southwest St. Andrew had jam. And we hear one commotion over one side of Michael. When we look at one boy, a cussing mother. The boy a disappearing mother. Me mean, him a disappearing mother. And we go over there now, me and Venetia, and I know him. I never know that she was his mother, quite frankly, but I know him from other things, but I know him. And he might disappear, mother, and she does the one side with her, her and full her bag and her arm and she had puff and she had for Gwe and Ray and Ray. And some other man came over and him hold the man and I said, I'm said, I'm when he pull him and said, it's what happened? I'm saying, the woman, they are wicked. That's why I'm a deal with the mother, you know. That woman, they are wicked, woman. I said, I never see a woman so wicked in my life. Finally, after much cajoling and hugging up and calm down and don't talk to your mother like that, or your mother still you mustn't do that. Ray, Ray, after much of that, you got him to sit down. And the man, the youth, say, the wicked woman vote for Mark Golden over Lisa Anna. Oh, Venisha. Venisha couldn't take a boy. Venisha, Venisha wrote that the car. He said, the wicked woman, he married my refer to you know, vote for the white man. Over Lisa Anna. The woman never even get a two million dollar. Me say him sing on the two million dollar for the whole time him sing you know. If you got pay for your vote, if you got get pay for your vote, get one two million dollar no man no man one you even live nowhere. You even live nowhere good. That's what I tell him mother. So she don't even get one two million dollar and she vote for the white man over Lisa Anna. Oh the woman wicked and fool. Now at the time. What he was saying never seemed so profound to me because I thought him shouldn't because of the mother. And that's the only thing I was dwelling on. Stop it. Relax, man. You don't talk to your mother them way to my youth. And your mother, she the one side, clear upon her face that she's feeling very embarrassed that him bust out the whole story that she get $15,000 and vote for the white man over Lisa Anna. Why did I, do I bring up this story? I am telling you this because she, the mother, did not give any consideration to her son who was about probably about 23 or 24 and clearly she have more children. She never gave no consideration to the fact that she's in charge of a PD, which him tell us afterwards. She gave consideration to the fact that she get in $20,000 for go vote for Mark Golden. And that's what you delegates did. All of you who voted for him. Go and vote for the white man over Lisa Anna. Now, if you thought this kind of thing, when the world saw it, I am sure they thought the People's National Party is a ridiculous party. So, I'm going to talk about the next part now. Mm. The white man over the Jamaican queen in that election. The People's National Party have about 40 plus thousand members. One white man. One. Let me be clear, run it with that white. Holy pa black people in for him family. Run it with a high color red man. One white man, 40,000 um, 40, plus members in the People's National Party. And Uno, Uno delegates go out there and vote for the one white man. Sell Uno vote. Sell Uno legacy. Uno mother legacy. Uno grandmother legacy. Uno know much family members some Uno have who died for the People's National Party. How much family, many of you can trace back on the roots, on the family roots, to people, cousin, brother, uncle, family members, friends, community people who died because of the politics of the People's National Party. And Uno went out and sold Uno vote for a measle fifteen and $20,000. That's what Uno did. For a white man. The only white man. 
in the People's National Party. And then him and his kind, I come and talk about them who are run the Queen out of Jamaica. What kind of fucking crap? Sorry, sorry I didn't remember, remember, remember to cross. Sorry, my apologies. What kind of quackery is that? Them the one the Queen are who vote for the one the white man, the People's National Party. And some of that about say, a time for we move her from the Queen. You know what kind of buffoonery that is? After who go elect the white man, the only white man, the PMP? Huh? The only white man? We told you. We told you all. Mark is not only the only white man of the People's National Party. He grew up with slaves around him. They might call it helper. But his father came to Jamaica with slaves in tow. And I like him to try to um, either explain that or tell me his lie. I want him to tell me his lie. That his father came here with slaves in tow. They arrived here with them slaves. So he grew up with slaves tying his shoes, lace and bathing him and comb and brush him curly hair and all of that kind of thing. And Uno, the licky licky PMP delegates them elect this white man over the Jamaican queen. You know, clearly, as a delegate of the People's National Party, Uno don't understand what Uno role is. Clearly, as a delegate, Uno don't understand where Uno loyalties lie. Some of Uno not speaking to the resistance people because we are right or uno wrong because some of them still are selling the soul some of them talk to one on the friends and family who not supporting mark golden because you still are taking ten thousand and twenty thousand dollars because you know licky licky i want to dry eye i want to wicked against norman manley's party all of them we voted for him but let me give you some good news in all of that. The good news in all of that is that I don't have the figures with me. I'm sure I get all of that. I, I, I mean, the secretary for the resistance is very thorough. I'm sure she sent me all of that. How many the votes that Lisa and I got were the votes of the legitimate PMP delegates. Some of them most of them that voted for Mark Golden are bogus, plain and simple, bogus delegates. Dayton Camber, Ian Ailes, the whole of them was out there forming all these bogus groups. And that's the bogus group that elected Mark Golden. Whole heap of bogus group that them boss out there that day, when them Ali Button, Ali Brown, Andre Brown, whatever them name is. When him all up in team feelings about them throwing them out, him talk it up. The party discovered some hundred and had fake groups. Group with all kind of funny name, like group named Pussy Group. I never knew something could go so. Now the People's National Party, a group named Pussy Group. Mm. By the engineers. Farmed these bogus groups. And while they were farming these bogus groups, they were busy doing all kind of other things. We shouldn't get to that. So those bogus groups are the groups that voted for Mark Golden. Not one authentic, solid PMP vote voted for Mark Golden. Not one. Some of those bogus groups voted for Lisa. Think about 27 of them. 27 delegates voted for Lisa. Not one of those bogus groups. Not one of the legitimate group. Voted for Mark Golden. None. Not one. Maybe some NEC members. But not one. So then. If this was a fair fight. Where there was just authentic PMP. Lisa and I win the, win the, win the presidency of the People's National Party. Mark Golden is a fake. And it is bogus. But. This is the People's National Party. And we accept it. That you, the delegates, sold your soul. You sold your birthright. You sold your mother and your father blood, sweat and tears. In the People's National Party. What the People's National Party went through. And what some of your foreparents went through. To ensure that the People's National Party become government. And be where it is. On to sell that out. On to sell that out like Judas sold out Jesus. I want to care and enjoy it. 
because it done the very night and you get it and you don't get nothing else and now you regret it. Mm hmm Yeah. You don't regret it. You don't went. You don't go vote for a man who is the only white man in the PMP. You don't never consider that you don't need to vote for a leader that will help you to get out the 310 votes in PD 66. That never the pound of mine at all. You don't never condemn that. You never contemplate that. You don't never think about that. That wasn't a part of the whole thing. The whole thing was just the money that Mark Golden and Peter Mercat wanted was handing to them. You do sell out the People's National Party. Norman and Michael are turn over the engrave because of Uno. Uno PMP delegates. You tag them for me. You tag the hell out of all of them. You know. Sold out the PMP. And then, when he let Mark go in. Immediately after when he do that, guess what? We found out that all of it was a plot. Yeah, yeah. We found out that the whole thing was a plot. Some smart, creative, patriotic PMP comrade found that WhatsApp group and they let loose on it. And all of the PMP delegates have been hearing sunny days, Natalie Stack, and all the resistance members talking about the WhatsApp leak for a long time over here now. I bet you any money that many of you don't know what's in those WhatsApp leak. So I'm going to help you out tonight. Think you going to feel bad yet? I don't know, wait. I'm not going to feel bad yet. Uh, Someone going to crawl on that tree when I'm finished. People have been telling me about the WhatsApp leak. But I don't care. I don't care about the party. Instead of the on social media, those are going to feel like, I know in the communities that talk about people like we are mash up party. People like we are trying to redeem and save a party that uno sell out to their man there. That's what people like we doing. Since we love talk about people like we, we are trying to redeem our party. I try to get it, take it out of them and on them clutches while uno sell it out to them. Little bit of money. Look at you tell me, I said, she never even get a two million. He talk about two million like it was 20,000, but him say, she, she never even get a two million for the vote. She take 20,000 from them, fool it, and vote against Lisa Anna. Him couldn't get over it. Him sit down the whole evening. And then he them and know the girls are from the Southwest. Sit down with, with him the whole evening. Him couldn't get over it. How him mother could have done something like that? And who him now vote for PMP again? Now that's the part. Because Uno sell out the PMP to this white man. I'm bunting. Getting around to all of it. WhatsApp group. We found out that that vote that you made was a culmination of a well-orchestrated well plan that they put in motion from about 2018 or 2017. Well-orchestrated plan. Machiavellianism. Now, full disclosure, many of you know, that I supported Peter Bunting in 2019. I don't make no apology for that because I don't apologize for anything I support. But I tell you this, I am a firm and solid believer in the universe. And I'm a firm and solid believer in what, when man a plan and God a wipe. And when he lost that race in 2019, God was on the case. Jesus was sitting at the right hand of God because he died on that cross and wore that crown and the bore him in his side and they mocked him and spit on him and threw things at him and called him all kind of name. And it's because of that why Peter Bunting lost in 2019. Praise the Lord for that. 
immediately after Bunting lost the 29 election, 2019 election, I discovered very quickly that them money, I no mean the PNP, no good, is all about a power trip for them. Bunting was on a power trip. Him want to be leader, him want to be prime minister, nothing to do with PNP. Him no love PNP. Him was never a PNP. I discovered that fast. They were in WhatsApp group doing all that Machiavellianism and planning to overthrow and all them kind of thing there. But they were two other WhatsApp group that I was in. And one of them, they were in there talking about telling PNP people not to vote. Let's go out. Let's go out and inform the people, inform the comrades. So while Peter Phillips, the victor, remains party leader and got busy trying to get us together to go win an election, they were on the other side ensuring that that don't happen. So since Uno said Uno never know me, me tell Uno. Then plot and then plan. First plot. They bought out half of the party's machinery. Political machinery. Pay them money to do nothing. Pay them money to tell people and listen to me, man. This is not a joke. Only listen to me. This is not a damn joke. They gave them money to go to tell people, say, Peter Phillips can't win. The WhatsApp leak. Let me start quotations from you. Start with Mr. Peter, Dayton, Campbell, the WhatsApp leak. Theme first argument was everything is about the next leadership race. Now, why you think about it, even though it's not very thinking delegates because we don't vote for a white man over the Jamaican queen. I say, we never know. I would tell you. The no. first argument was, everything is about the next leadership race. Now, think about this. In a time when we're going to face an election in a couple of months, your argument is that everything is about the next leadership race. Don't you, the delegates, believe that everything at that time would have been about the upcoming election? Don't you believe that? Wouldn't it be about the upcoming election that next year? No. For them, it was about the next leadership race. And that is where the undermining started. Ian heals him. What's up, leak again? I mean, can't speak authoritatively about the Ian Hill's activity because him take me on about it. When my customer from our WhatsApp group about where they must tell people about them not to vote for PMP and I tell people not to go out and I tell people to change them right them them logo upon them Facebook page to rise and I tell people so let us sit this out and people must wear them this and people must wear them that and we'll get into that. Ian yells him. WhatsApp leak. Me and my way now. Now go down. Now go check Sonia. Sonia Ramsey. We're we'll gonna farm up some group. Bunting to Ian Hills. Yes, okay. But beg you know, don't use the Rise United in a nothing because it's a dead giveaway. Now let me slow that down a bit for you. Uno delegate will sell out the PMP. Let me slow that down a bit for you. Since you talk about we are mash up party and we you give the leader a chance and we you come on board, let me tell you know, why we will continue to resist. Now tell you know, why we will continue to resist resist traitors. They knew what they were doing. It is orchestrated and planned and manipulated. Bunting say, said to Hills, go and go farm up the word for group them, but don't use Rise United in it. Because it is a dead giveaway. If you use Rise United, they will find out so we in here and undermine the party and have a sabotage the party for make the party lose the next election. Wanna get it? Wanna get it? Because you don't get the twenty thousand dollars for that. Wanna get it? They were in there 
sabotaging and masterminding the greatest takedown of a political movement I've ever witnessed in my life. And Bunting, Ian said, we're going to the group, then we're going to check Sonia now. Bunting said, careful, <laughs> don't use Rise United. Then we're going to find out. So we're in there, plan a thing. So, watch out. And that fool Ian Hills go farm up him group them. And that's what they said. WhatsApp leak. Well, this is a WhatsApp leak. In a water WhatsApp group that I was in. And I know the witch can't get to it because she was deep into this. So the witch said, that's Angela Brownberg. In a water WhatsApp. That only never hear before somebody got tell her. In a water WhatsApp group, the one that I came out of first after a customer off. Her argument was, and this is not, this is, I'm paraphrasing. All right. She was saying that, listen, all of this chit chat and back and forth doesn't make any sense. We must now forget about this, forget about the next election and concentrate on the future and what we are going to do. And I was like, what? Forget about the next election, which is a couple of months ago, and let us concentrate on the future and what we are going to do. Oh, yes. And that you know vote for. And that you know take $20,000 for. And $15,000. And $5,000. Sell out. Yes, and still a sell out. Some still a sell out. Yeah, man. As some licky licky ones. From all over the country, from Kingston to Westmoreland, and don't let me start on Westmoreland. But me I tell you, no, you know, sell out the PMP and Norman Manly. His spirit is all over the place watching, you know. So that was WhatsApp leak. That was the sabotage. That was the plan that was going on. Meanwhile, poor Peter Phillips trying to put the thing together. To say if we can win an election, I'm bunting in there, a mastermind, a takedown of the People's National Party. And Uno is the one that caused it. Uno! PMP delegates who voted for Mark Mullen. Go and go farm the group, Sam. Don't use no Rise United. Because you use Rise United, they are gonna find out. They are gonna know. So we're in here, an orchestrate takedown of the party. Election call. Peter Phillips, being a gentleman, want to unite the party. Said to Bunting, say, come man, I don't meet with Bunting. Made him dip, made him co-director for the campaign. And what did he do? He advised Peter Phillips not to walk with the candidates. He advised Peter Phillips not to walk with the candidates. I don't know what reason he gave Peter Phillips. But Peter Phillips, being a honorable man, believed him. Trusted him. Believe that he was a PMP. Peter Phillips never knew him that a PMP. Peter Phillips should have asked PJ. PJ had tell him that the man they're not PMP. Because when Peter when Bunting ran in Clarendon, Peter PJ gave him parliamentary secretary, I think, in a ministry and put him down one local office down a Holborn Road. Push him down one corner down there. Cause PJ knew him. PJ saw right through him. PJ knew that he couldn't have him nowhere near him. Because his only ambition is to be leader of the PMP. And he was going to do anything and everything within his power to get that done. So PJ park him down a Holborn Road and one upstairs building one old office. And that's where PJ park him. And that's why he left. Because he couldn't manipulate nothing under PJ Patterson. And that's why he run. He run and got hide. Couldn't get to PJ. PJ saw him. 
Peter Phillips trusted him. And he led Peter Phillips astray. They were out there telling PMP people not to vote. But once again, once again, Jesus was sitting at the right hand of God. Once again, God stepped in. Look at them now. They were mastermind. The mastermind was to make sure the party lose the election so them can take it over because they could never take it over if the party win the election. They would never be able to take over PMP at the party won the election. So the only way them could take it over is to make sure PMP lose. On a go on. On a sell out PMP with the 20,000, the 5,000, the 10,000. On a wicked Una go suffer for it. And those of you who still doing it. And behaving as if all is hunky dory. All is well. Una sit down every day and see that the PMP I go further and further and slide further and further into oblivion. Una sit down every day and see that the People's National Party have lost respect throughout the world. Caricom. We don't have one friend left in Caricom. In the in the Caribbean, we do have no friend outside of the Caribbean. We do have no friend in the Caribbean. We have another friend in Jamaica. And uno sit down there, someone in a WhatsApp group, and we allow no collect mark and Ian Hill's money. And both of not chat to people because we kind of people are more no care. Me people also not chat to people. One of them they make a bust out the whole on the secret, so the whole on the chat to me. That's true. That not where I'm. That not where I'm. That's a joke. But uno know on herself. And the man them sat there and orchestrated the PMP to be in opposition so they could take it over. No other way they could have taken it over. So they did. So what did they do? What are some of the other things that they did to ensure that PMP become the opposition? Remained the opposition. Miss Lashy Loudmouth Peter, she looked up on platform at our PMP needs money with money. Well, let me tell you a little bit about that, you know, licky, licky, wicked, you know, who sell out Norman Man, the party. Let me tell you a little bit about that. Mark Golden's a billionaire, making money already. You see, me do that little queen job thing. Me make my money already. Uh, me make my money. Me make my money already. Mm. Bunting up. My billionaire too. I want to hear me good. Between the two of them, they did not give the party a cent. Not a red cent. They did not go walk with candidates who needed help and help them financially. They didn't do any of that. They did not volunteer to go help some candidates or some places where we could win. And they come with them had a little bit more resources. Mark Golden this distinctly and deliberately I want, I want him to come out and deny this, you see? I want him to come deny this. Him deliberately said him don't have no money to give towards that campaign. That campaign not going anywhere. Yes, Mark Jefferson. I remember you said so. You said so. When we get vexed in the WhatsApp group, the Ian Hills him called me upon the phone. But Karen, seriously, him can't win. And why you listen to me, you know? Him can't win. Him can't win nothing. Him I go lose. Him I go lose. Him who? Peter Phillips. Not PMP, you know? They weren't saying the party can't win, you know? They weren't saying that because their plan was a Peter Phillips to lose to say a Peter Phillips lose after them no help do nothing now when I look at it everything that they did was orchestrated for that loss everything that they did was orchestrated for that loss and that's because you the PMP delegate sold out PMP to Mark Golden you and the PMP Lost. 
and Norman Manley, who gave you the delegates that right, that luxury, that opportunity to be delegates in the greatest political movement in the Caribbean ever. And the only thing you can do with it is to sell it out to the one white man in the party. The single one white man in the party who no sold it out to. If you no select a slappily dressed, slovenly dressed, slappy looking man over the, over the queen. That's what you did. On the delegates. How they can't explain it. You can't explain it because the people are going to take and do it. And somebody can talk about how oh, Lisa did lock down the burger truck. Look where? You man lock down the burger truck because she want to take her burger and take her money and so long vote for her. And she'll vote for her. And that's your excuse in 2020 as to why she would not wear vote for Lisa Anna. And them have you in a leadership in our constituency. You want to see why PMP people can't come out, come vote. Because Uno never asked the people them in a PD3. Because if Uno did ask the 310 voters in a PD3, and them, them they are telling no for a vote. I wouldn't get them on for a vote for them telling no. But Uno don't ask them because they don't respect for them. Because we think that normal man, the group delegate status is for the personal family thing. Where you are delegate to your daughter, but delegate to your son and delegate, and your man and delegate, and your woman and delegate. So you delegate them. Mm. And a Norman manly delegate them. And that's how we do this thing. Sell out the PMP to this white man. And in Machiavelli cronies them. So them orchestrate the loss of the PMP. So let's move on. And the PMP lose. And they will discover the WhatsApp leak. I will know now without a shadow of a doubt. That they were all in that WhatsApp group. Planning. And Machiavelli in. <laughs> and, and executed. The takedown of the People's National Party. Oh my God in heaven. Uno delegates did it. The man them plan for the PMP lose. And I Uno do it. Because we told you. Know, Uno can't sound never hear. We told you know, we can't tell to tell every day. Tell so the man can't manage this thing. Mark can't lead now. In friend them up in them all them Jamaican white friend them. It come from TV and say him never lead nothing in them life. Never ever. Colossal mistake, what the greatest mistake ever made in politics in Jamaica is what Uno the PMP delegates did. Uno. And now no regret it. And then become leader. When them a mastermind the loss of the elections, they never bargain for Jesus interfering. Oh no. The greatest disappointments, Luther Buchanan, Danny Buck, nephew, Noel Monteith, nephew, PMP, I. Come on, we're wrong, we're not greater than these things. Luther Buchanan, the nephew of Donald Buchanan, icon, PMP, icon, great PMP, them there. The nephew of Noel Monteith, PG, close. Body, man who run Eastern West Milan, join with traitors and saboteurs to destroy his party and then go lose PJ seat. Thinking that him gonna get away with that and karma hit him and him lose PJ seat. Mm. Ian is ex labor right. I want me to say ex labor right, ex labor right, ex labor right capital L capital E, ex labor right, deep ex labor right. Dora, man over and lose Ben Clear seat. Oh, I don't remember Ben Clear. Lose Ben Clear seat. Colin Fagan, that nitwit, lose Dr. Paul Roberts' seat. Now, pint them out, you know. All of those who were abnabbing and contributing to the takedown of the party that gave them so much. The party that made them who they are. And they joined with men with money 
and bad intentions, man who have no integrity, man who have no love, man who have no sacrifice, no patriotism in them, I want to join with them, and you, Colin Fagan, lose Dr. Paul Roberts' seat. Mm. Oh, yeah. And then the sweetest one of all, Mr. Machiavelli himself, Mercat. <laughs> lose John Jr.'s seat. One little young lady trample all over him Machiavelli himself. Because he never planned for that. He never planned for take down the PMP, but he never planned for lose. And God said, hell no. You can't stay in either. And him lose too. Made him friend leader. And one of the PMP delegates voted for him. Only clearly do not have an understanding of what it takes to be a delegate. Only clearly do not have an understanding of what your responsibilities are as a delegate. And I'm going to help you out tonight. And I'm going to help you out for the next couple of weeks. First thing. You're a delegate for the People's National Party. You don't represent yourself. If you're a delegate, chances are you're either an indoor agent or a cluster manager, or a PD captain, or some kind of divisional leader, divisional chairpersons, constituents, secretaries, you have responsibilities in a Norman Manly party, under Norman Manly constitution, and you're a delegate. And your first and first responsibility is to think when elected a leader, which one of these persons are going to get my voters out in my PD? Which one of these persons is best suited to help me as the leader of my PD to bring out my 310 people. Which one of these people, which one of these people, the young people in my area, going to be willing to follow? Which one of these people going to speak to the voters and the voters will stand up and listen in my cluster? Which one, as a delegate, that's your first thought? Your first thought. I'm going to tell you why. When, the, during the 20, 2006 internal race, I supported Omar Davis. I love Omar Davis. I still love Omar Davis. Still believe he would have been a great leader. I supported Omar Davis. And I told my delegates, I'm, I'm supporting Omar Davis and I'm working for Omar Davis. And we invite them Omar. To make them see Omar. Tell Omar, I said, boy, I may work for you, but I'm not too sure. I'm Omar will tell the joke. He'll like to tell the joke. I say, I'm working for you. I still don't show up. I'm vote for you, Omar. Because my people have to see you. Tell them, I say, you're your finance minister and you ain't got the money. So some of the suffering and you cause it. They were saying all those things. I brought Omar Davis down to Jews land. We couldn't get him out of Jews land tonight when he come. He come about 4 o'clock evening. We couldn't, 9 o'clock at night, we couldn't get him out of Jews land. Mm. Couldn't get him out of Jews land. Mm. Him beating up Pierre mm. Damien, you know? people give him six love, him thinks him, him need to give him back so him sit down. Mm. So Omar Davis sat in Jewsland mm. with the Jewsland people mm. and he played Domino for them mm. to know him. And all my mm. delegates voted for mm. Omar Davis. I would tell the community mm. why. And we had no doubts in our mm. mind that come election time, mm. we can convince, if Omar become leader, mm. we could convince them to come out and vote for Omar Davis. Can you, Uno, who sell out the PMP votes to Mark Golden and Peter Bunty, can Uno tell anybody to come out come vote for Mark Golden? Me the like for soon to try. Which one are Uno? I'm not talking to those of my constituency. Me the love for see Uno. I walk on and try to tell people to come vote for Mark Golden. Not one of Uno will take the man money. Can tell nobody that. No, no, Uno. Can tell the man that. Can tell nobody. Go, go vote for Mark Golden. They may run the dung and lick the dung and throw water powder. So your first responsibility as a delegate is to think, how does this impact my community? Who am I going to elect? Who am I going to elect for leader of the party? Who is going to be the person who are going to present 
to my PD. Because each of the 4,000 plus of you delegates, that's all you need to consider first, you know. Who going to bring out the votes to ensure that you don't have a PMP MP on a damn... Boy, <laughs> sure. Uh, on a sell out now, man, man, the party for a few dollars, just like how Judas sold Jesus. I only can't sell Mark Golden to that one voter in our area. Matter of fact, no, no, only can't go to nobody. Go ask them to vote. No, no, only delegates who voted for, for Mark Golden. Only can't go to nobody. Because they bit sooner, you know, to go with Golden shirt. Oh, yeah. They did sooner go in wherever it is. With 17%. Going with golden. So we can't chat to nobody. And I'm going to ask you a question. I'm not prepared to answer them, quest, quest, them kind of questions. They might tell us a dead stop business. That, you know? But I talk to them about that. We don't know what I'm going to say. But we don't care. Because we don't get $15,000 or $20,000. We don't care. We don't care. is wicked. Greedy. Vicious. And some of you who continue getting money and can't influence six votes. But, on our NEC members and on our divisional chair and Mark and Gold, you know, and Bunch, you know, want to keep on the support so them feed, you know. Stack up the shop, we broke down every Monday morning. Fix the car, we broke down every day on Friday. Mm. Because they want to keep, you know, and we never pay enough to keep, you know. Uno is a traitor. Traitor. Uno are traitors to the People's National Party. Traitors, the worst kind. The worst kind of traitor is the one who sell out for money. You never ever sell out for an idea. You never sell out for a mission. You never sell out for an ideal, something you feel deep. No! It's the 15, 12,000, 20,000, 5,000 that you not sell out for. And elect Mark Golden. Who cannot motivate 10 ants to go to a sugar hill at Mark PMP. I want to sell out to him. And now no ball. So that's your first responsibility as a delegate. Your second responsibility, and I'm going to be very clear with you now, is after you tie up that part of it. And this is not a contradiction. Because I understand the realness of suffering. PMP no do nothing for no. I want a famous cry that and most of it is true. PMP spent 18 years in government and them never do nothing for no. Most ministers depend on them phone are them abroad all the time. The ministers of government during PMP time are very few who help people. Peter Phillips, Roger Clark, Philip Paulwell. Very few. Who actually help people when PMP was in government? Me could have go further. You know, Dean Peart, I could go further. Dr. Paul Roberts, I could go further. But I tell you, within the last couple of years, the PMP don't help them people. The PMP ministers, every time you see them, they're on the damn phone. Because they don't want to talk to nobody. Every time you call them off the island, they tell you go to the office in a meeting. Them not help you no. Me know. Them not help you no. So hear what? The other responsibility as a delegate is that when the time comes for the voting and them come, for you, come to you about voting and money, take the damn money. Take it and ask for more. Ask for more. Every time them see you, ask for more and take it. You know why if you take it? You deserve it. You work for it. Mm. Take the money, but don't sell out the party. Take the damn money where you deserve, where you're entitled to. Because you depend on work year after year. Your mother dead poor, but she, she work year after year. You put a dead poor, him work year after year. Your brother get shot and rare. Take the money and go into that voting vote and make a good choice and vote for a good leader. Nobody can chat to you about the money. Take the damn money and go vote for the good, good leader over that fool who's trying to buy it from you. Nobody can do you nothing. Nobody. Boy, I come talk to you about voting. For me. Boy, money, I want, you know. Money, money, right now, I have about three prescriptions for about $40,000. And money, I want. 
take the money, take the forty thousand dollars, go into that voting booth and vote for a good, good PMP leader. Vote for a good PMP leader. Boy, you never knew. As a delegate, you didn't know. You didn't know. That's why them come with them bag of money if you take the damn money and go vote for Lisa. Now you didn't know. Nobody can chat to you when you take the money. Nobody. Because you're a PMP. A Norman man, the party. You're a delegate. Norman man, the create that system for you to be that. And you have a responsibility to ensure that the next person you elect as leader of the People's National Party is qualified up to the task and accepted by the Jamaican voting electorate. Because you have that responsibility to take the money and ensure that the leader of the PMP is first of all a PMP born and bred and grow yeah? a black PMP even brown like me or black like me take that money and go into that booth and vote for a leader who can lift the party when the leader go with the Jamaican people see him or her and want to be a part of him or her want to touch him or her Vote for a leader that when it, when it, when the leader's name is spoken, people stand up. Vote for a leader that me and Matley want to come hang out with. When I see those pictures with she and Peter Phillips, you see, man. When I see those pictures of Peter Phillips and me and Matley. I remember when Michael Manley was ill. The last months of his life, when Michael Manley was ill. You know who offered to fly him to the United States for treatment? President George H. W. Bush. George, George W. Father, the first President Bush. Offered to fly now Michael Manley to the U.S. for treatment. Michael says, I'm good. Must stay away. Why Why bring that up? Our leader had friends. Friends in high places, influential friends that can help our country and our party. Mm. Yeah. Obama come down here. And him go to the airport and him come off of the plane and go to the airport and him hug up Portia and him say, I told you I would come. Mm. What happened to you? What wrong with you? Obama hug up Portia and say, see, I told you I would come. They had conversation before it. Your leader must have influence and gravitas and connections and respect from world leaders. Huh? The IMF woman come down here hanging out with Peter Phillips. Angela Merkel come down here hanging out with Portia. When we were out of power during Michael Malley days, all our international friends were hanging out with us. What is wrong with you know? Bound a delegate for PMP and a hide a talk to authentic PMP because you not collect the people their money so no one talk to nobody. Make them know so no talk. Well. I don't want to talk. And we know where it's at now. So that may I tell you know. When you elect PMP leader you ought to think about your responsibility as a delegate. And your responsibility as a delegate goes beyond you being the delegate. Your responsibility goes to the voters and your responsibility to deliver for the PMP and election day. And your personal thing. Where you gonna collect money for? And put on a shirt, going somewhere off a cliff or jumping off some river. Check the money. You like a good leader. Part of your responsibility is to do just that. So no work me up into a sweat and a frenzy. I am going to be doing a series of these lives. This is the first one. The next one, I'm going to talk a little bit more about what Bunting them did. I know I'm tired to hear it. But the truth of the matter is, I don't think you don't understand the extent to which the man them. I don't think you don't understand what they did to bring the party into opposition. I don't think you don't get it. I think we need to rivet it down our head so we can understand what they did. 
they know what they did. And now we know what Uno did by electing them. They set about in a strategic way to discredit the party to lose the election so that they could take over the leadership because they couldn't get it unless we in the opposition. What's the matter? We don't know. We don't think. We don't have head. Think. Take the damn money when I'm going. Everybody come with money, take it. But for God's sake, for the sake of the future on a picnic on a party, think. Think about what you need to do as a delegate and as a leader in a constituency in the People's National Party. Your responsibility goes way beyond just that. As a delegate, you need to have patriotism inside of you. What happened? What do you know what that mean? Patriotism? What do you know what that mean? Huh? When the young man was telling him mother that she should take two million dollars, in friend them there, they say, not even that them couldn't pay me. At least I don't have vote for. Patriotism, conviction. PMP delegates must have that. Patriotism and conviction. You must believe in what you is. You a delegate and you don't believe in it. You a delegate and you don't practice it. You a delegate and you don't have no, 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 no. Authority about it. You don't know. You don't think about it. It's a serious thing. You don't think it's a frivolous little thing. Get up some patriotism, man. Build up on a patriotism. Build up on a patriotism. On a PMP delegates. On a can just walk around the place and a prostitute in herself like whores for twenty for two twenty thousand dollars and fifteen thousand dollars. Only can I walk around and lay on yourself and a hope mouth on the foot for the twenty thousand and five thousand dollars. As them roll in a town so on a hope up and spread out and collect their money. That like could have did in twenty twenty and voted for the single white man in the People's National Party. When I really believe that God is going to make him get away with it. Mm -hmm. I'm not going to get away with it. And we my member of the, I, 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 as a member of the resistance, and the rest of the PMP resistance, which is much more than Uno, not going to make Uno forget it. Uno not going to forget it on account of us. We will not stop resisting. We will not stop resisting Mark Golden. We will not stop resisting Dayton Campbell. We will not stop resisting Peter Burkett Bunting. We will not stop resisting Angela Brownberg. We will not stop resisting these people who are the reason why we are where we are now? And somehow we still have follow up behind them thinking that something good will happen. Here to break it, too, no? But nothing good is happening here, so in that. Not a thing is going to be happening. All of that, pure jackassery. Everybody moving around, pure jackassery. Because nothing is going to happen. I can't cut it. I won't elect him. I don't want to say so now. Because I don't fail to fulfill the responsibility as duly elected PMP delegates ordained by a system set up by Norman Washington Manley. I'm going to let down Norman. I'm going to let down Michael. I'm going to let down the parents. I'm going to let down the grandparents. They must be turned over them grave to watch Uno. Walk up on yourself and prostitute out on yourself for $20,000. Get some money. Thinking that only in charge of something. And uh, I come talk about Lisa Lockdown Burger Truck. And your leader in the damn blasted constituency. Leader. Your leader with leadership response. People elect you for something. And you are meet me now. See me now. Mall. I talk about the reason I support Lisa because Lisa Lockdown Burger Truck. You have no business leading. Nothing. Nothing you have any business leading. You shouldn't be leading, not even a flock of fowl or sheep. You, you should not be leading anything. If that is your reason for not supporting Lisa Anna. I will not really to get in the election. The entire, we're not really to get in it. 
We not repeat it because it of any bitterness or nothing. I just want to show no buffoonery. Mm. I want to show no how to sell out the PMP. I want to show no, I want to rip it down the head that you sell out the PMP. You to sell out to the children who are PMP pitting them. You to sell them out. You to set in bad examples for them. To make them know, say, if a man come from one lead the party, even if he's a jackass, take money, take $20,000 and go and go vote for him. We're going to set it right. The PMP resistance is when they set it right. So finally, as I was saying, I will be back. Don't know when yet. But we're going to talk about a couple of things in the coming weeks. We're going to talk about how Dayton Campbell lose virtual white man seat. We're going to talk about his buffoonery and how that impact his buffoonery impacted Lisa Anna. And lots of you have been wanting to talk about Lisa. And we're going to talk about it. But as I have always said to all of you who are saying that I should talk about that, that is a big talking about. That's just a small thing. That's a big thing. So it's going to be take a for a while to sit down and talk about that and talk about all of the players who contributed to what it, where it is now. So we're going to talk about that. We're going to talk about more about electing a proper leader. How you elect leaders. There is a process. There is a set, set of rules and a set of things that is required to elect a proper leader. Come on. Man, people, want to know, want to know, want to know, but they're just into the world jackassery. Want to know. So we're going to be talking about all of that. But come tomorrow, finally, some of the resistance members are going to hit the road. And um, we're going into some communities. We're going to talk to people. We're going to talk to PMP people. We're we'll asking what's going on with them, how life, how they're managing under this wicked and heartless JLP government that the leader that them elect can't challenge. Now we're going to talk about that too. Now that is a whole big something as to why Mark Golden and Peter Bunty can't challenge Andrew Wallace. The corruption, the corruption is not just Andrew Wallace, it involves the leaders of the People's National Party as well. Yes, we we'll never know. What we'll talk about that the next day? So tomorrow we'll be in some communities, and um, we're going to show up. We're going to ask PMP people what's going on, what's going on with them, how is them life? Um, we want to know some things. How to feel about the country? How to feel about the party? How to feel about the party leader that uno sell, uno vote to? We we'll come and talk to you. But to come out there and talk to them. So for the see we don't run. For the see we don't hide. And we're not coming with no noise and excitement. We're coming quietly. Because we want them to talk to us honestly and truthfully. We don't want them to be afraid to say anything to us. So we're not doing no, no videoing and unless you want us to video you. We'll be talking to you honestly and openly. We want you to tell us. Tell us. What's happening and how you feel. We want to know. Them know I know. But we in the resistance. The PMP resistance which is much more than them. We want to know. We want to know how you feel. We want to tell us how you feel. We want to tell us. You tell us anything you want to tell us. We don't have no political particular any kind of thing. We don't have the particular agenda about anything. We just want to talk to you. We want to talk to you because we feel that. Nobody not talk to you. Social media, yes. News, yes. But nobody now come to your place. Come talk to you. So welcome to your place. Come talk to you. Come want to talk to you. Want to know what you think and what you're feeling and how you think this thing going and how you think it should go. And we want to know. We want to know from you. Because the truth of the matter is the real power behind all of this is really you. And we recognize that. So we want to talk to you. So I'll see you tomorrow. When I reach where I reach, I will 
we'll just see you and you'll just see me and we'll talk and we'll be doing this um, two or three days out of each week within the next coming weeks and we'll be doing the live as well and talking about other things and um, I thank you for joining me and um, um, I hope you'll join us again. I hope you had a good time. I hope you got information. Um, be safe. God bless you. God bless your family. Keep the children safe. Thank you.